Welcome to Among the Sleep, a horror-style walking simulator where you play as a, a belly button poking toddler. I don't know if this kid has a name or not. All I know is today is his birthday and this is his mom. Looks like a Mrs. Incredible wannabe. You ain't got the dump truck, sweetheart. And this is her nostril. Great camera angle. Anyways, you're a kid that gets left unattended in your nursery. Great parenting, mom. Hey, what's in the box? Hey, you found me. I got my eye on you, you shifty bastard. Hey. Anyways, you walk into your closet and stumble into a world of terror and fear. Your new Thunder Buddy will keep you safe. This whole little intro here in your bedroom is a tutorial of sorts. I think it was really well done. Teaches you all you need to know before your little buddy gets taken away from an invisible entity like it's paranormal activity up in here. This game plays a bit weird, to be honest. It takes some getting used to the scale of everything. But that's what makes this game so unique. It's actually like looking through the lens of a toddler. How do I get up here? Well, try dragging a chair over there. Pull the drawers out and make a little staircase or something. Words on boxes are gibberish because you're a dumb kid who can't read. It's wicked. It's basically amnesia-style controls in a large world. So what's the point of all this? Well, I mentioned earlier that your teddy gets pulled away. You rescue him from a washing machine. And do what every kid does in a terrifying situation. Get mom! 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 But lo, your mother has been taken away into a terrible nightmarish world. Now you gotta go put your big boy pants on and go rescue her. With the help of Teddy, whom I'm starting to warm up to. This game's a little short, but the experience and overall message is pretty deep. I enjoyed it, but it's not very replayable. I mean, there's not a whole lot of different ways to go about playing the same puzzles. The maps are interesting, but fairly linear. Overall, the game isn't very difficult, but the environments are really creative. Oh, did I mention the terrors that hunt you around here? They're pretty sweet. I mean, terrifying and will straight up kill a baby, but I mean, they're, pre they're pretty cool. Overall, I thought it was a spooky experience with some well-thought-out symbolism. The ending and the overall message of the game is hard-hitting. I'm not going to spoil it, otherwise there's not much to justify playing it, to be honest. What's the current price? Well, right now on Steam, the Enhanced Edition is less than 20 bucks. If I'm honest, I think that's a bit steep. You can always play the demo. Or you could spend an extra 2 bucks on top of that and get The Forest. Which is way more game. If you ask me which I'd rather play... I'd say.